what could the penalty be if a company does that, right? Like, what's that penalty? What's that oh, risk yeah. that they're taking? Dive into that a little bit. Like, <laughs> make people understand that by doing that and not following the law, like, what can happen to them? And all it takes, we talked earlier again, one more last point, is you talked earlier about <clears throat> it only takes one audit right? Yep. Before something to happen, right? This isn't, you know, it's, and again, with all these added agents, the chance of somebody getting audited is probably going to increase their, their rate of getting audited is probably going to go up. So talk a little bit about those two points, right? So like what could happen to them and the chance of somebody getting audited going into the future? Okay. Um, well, let me, let me cover the penalties and stuff. Um, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read through here, what you can find out online. It, it, it's online and they'll tell you that there is a $50 fine for each W-2 the employer failed to file for their employees. Well, that's 50 bucks. Well, guess what? That doesn't stop there. Now you're looking at 3% of the wages as a penalty. Oh, if you're talking about a lot of wages, you're talking about a lot of penalties. Yep. And 40% of the, of the FICA taxes that were not withheld. Which can count up really quick. Which is... Add up. Okay, you didn't take it out of the employee's pay nor match it, but you're going to be charged a 40% fee. And then there's up to 100% of the FICA taxes they should have paid as an employer. And that's yep. just the, the standard civil penalties that don't even include if you're getting into fraud. Right. Because if you get into fraud where somebody has determined that you've purposely evaded the law, now you're talking about fines that could be uh, up to half a million dollars in years in jail, years uh, in jail. Over just trying to save a couple bucks. Over trying to save a few dollars.